Welcome to Travelwise here on Amy Info on our very first program of 2013, which is a very special program. As you can see, we're on board an aircraft. This is a 737-800 belonging to Fly Dubai, and we're joining them as they expand their network. We're off to their brand new 52nd destination, which is four and a half hours flying time from Dubai, southeast of Dubai, in fact. We're going to the heart of the Indian Ocean, to Mali in the Republic of the Maldives. So the program this time will give you a travel insight into the island. We'll also be talking to a travel industry expert from the tourism board in the Maldives. But right now, I'm gonna get ready, buckle up for the flight, which will last around about four and a half hours. And once I get ready, let's have a look at the latest travel news from across the region. And we start with aviation and the introduction by Fly Dubai of the first in-flight digital newspaper service, with the latest edition from more than 40 papers available on board. Staying with Fly Dubai, and they'll be one of the first airlines to fly into Qatar's new Hamad International Airport as of April the 1st, in what appears to be a soft opening for the new facility. The airport will also receive flights from two other UAE carriers, Rack Airways and Air Arabia with home carrier Qatar Airways transferring to the new airport by the end of the year. And for them and the troubled Boeing 787 Dreamliner, it seems that a solution to the battery problem has been found, with Boeing awaiting approval of the redesign from the Federal Aviation Authority. And finally, news from the Maldives, where the Shangri-La's Bilingeli Resort and Spa have become the first resort to operate a private executive air terminal is five minutes away by speedboat at Gan International Airport in the southern Adu Atoll. That's the latest travel news and here on Travelwise we're following the news with the arrival here at Mali in the Republic of the Maldives of Fly Dubai's inaugural flight. Just after six o'clock in the morning a little sleepy flight down from Dubai and the flight and passengers receiving a very warm Maldivian welcome. That welcome was received by Gaethol Gaith, CEO of Fly Dubai, along with his guests, and also the invited journalists from across the Fly Dubai network who flew into Ibrahim Nasser International Airport, better known perhaps as Mali International Airport, which is located on the Hule Island in the North Mali Atoll. And here, just a short distance from the airport, we boarded our water taxi, operated by the Taj Exotica Resort and Spa, which was to be our first destination on this Maldivian adventure. The transfer across the stunning waters of the Indian Ocean would take about 20 minutes. And first we pass the ever-developing and ever-expanding capital island of Mali. 7.30 in the morning now, the sun's come up, life jacket's on because we're on board our transfer. And after that warm welcome on our arrival at the airport, which is extending through to the departure jetty, we are now leaving the airport island to head off to our resort. So we'll be back in part two of Travelwise, coming to you from the Maldives. <laughs> 